guitar, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you each and every one of our stellar performers that will be thoroughly entertaining you throughout tonight's show. Our first driver under power now, a 2001 Toyota Solera automobile. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do you say to Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri? Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri. Well, Jason backs away now to the top of the third. One of the fastest rising stuntmen in America today. Young in age, but old in experience. He comes from the Empire State, all the way from Brooklyn, New York. What do you say to young Chris Morano? Chris Morano from Brooklyn, New York. Well, Chris backs away now to the top of the third. And the Toyota Camry California Police Cruiser. Over 15 years behind the wheels of Thrill Show Automobiles. They're bringing it in for a quick breaking grinding out of the seats tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from Carrollton, Ohio, Royal Bill Dominic. Royal Bill Dominic from Carrollton, Ohio. And now, the stars of our show, following in the footsteps of his world-famous father, an American legend, Joey Chipwood Sr. from Tampa, Florida. Let's have a nice round of applause for Tim Chipwood! Tim Chipwood from Tampa, Florida. And now, Tim's counterpart, over 40 years of bringing thrills and entertainment to the nation and the world. He comes from the great country of Denmark, from its capital city of Copenhagen. It's international stunt star extraordinaire, a legend in his own lifetime, the incomparable Mr. Tony Peterson, right to the wall. Tony Peterson from Copenhagen, Denmark, is here tonight. Wait a minute, stop the whole doggone show. Sparky's here. Let's have a nice round of applause for Sparky, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome him here tonight to your water first people. Hey, Sparky, what in the world were you doing in the trunk of Tony's beautiful Toyota Solara automobile? Out there trying to take a little nap. Looks to me as you were in there taking a little nip. Have you been hitting the bottle again? Just a little bit. You know, folks, Sparky's the only guy I know that celebrated the fourth with a fifth. <laughs> Hey, Sparky, since you're wandering out in the middle of the racetrack here tonight, do we have your permission to start tonight's show? Well, let me send it up to go and put the hammer down as they go to the top of the racetrack here tonight as we take Lyle, Bill Dominic, and Tony Peterson, and uh, Tim Chitwood at the top of the turn. Uh, as we're going to be calling upon the stars of our show, Tony Peterson and Tim Chitwood, with over 75 years of combined experience behind the wheels of Thrill Show Automobiles. Unquestionably, undoubtedly, the two top automobile stuntmen in the nation and the world. As they come out of the top of the turn, they're going to be giving you an ample sample of some of the high-speed thrills and entertainment of footage here tonight with Toyota's Hollywood Stunt Show team. We put more wear and tear in our Camry automobiles and one performance of the Hollywood Stunt Show than you would in a brand new Toyota from your locally authorized Toyota dealer in the lifetime of the automobile. But we're going to get warmed up now, getting the feel of the racetrack as we're locking together bumper to bumper, Tim Chitwood and Tony Peterson as they comply out of the top of that turn number four on the short trip delivery up and over, down and go, and a burst of flying into the top of the turn out here tonight. It's the masterful manipulation of motor vehicles, a traffic jam on the roll with the Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show. Driving with one hand at all times, and a ten on the door pedal, and a right hand on the steering wheel. And well indeed, as they come locked together to the top of turn number one, to the high side of ramp structure number one, down to the center section, to the low side of ramp elevation number two now. How in the world can those American-made Toyota Camrys respond so instantaneously to the driver's command. It's American-made, front-wheel drive Toyota technology. Watch out that place automobiles, side by side, fender to fender, wheel to wheel, Bridgestone Potenza to Bridgestone Potenza, as they're side by side with the top of the turn. Heading for ramp elevation, the reverse on the way up and down, pounding and go. Thundering on ramp elevation, turn out, as they go screaming to the top of the turn. It's motor madness, a traffic jam on the roll with the Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show. Watch now as they attempt those very, very dangerous crossovers. We're going to be taking one automobile to the high side, one automobile to the low side, as they attempt to cross automobiles directly in front of revelation number one. Watch that second set of crossovers now, and that dangerous third car cross as they go to the top of the racetrack out here tonight. 
It's rockets away, bombs away, projectiles in the air with the Toyota Camry astronauts out here this evening at Waterford Speedball. Well, you've seen the crossovers in the flash surface of the racetrack. This time, it's crossovers again, but on the go shitting ramp elevations. Watch now as Tony Peterson and Tim Chitwood, over 75 years behind the wheels of Thrusher on the wheels, as they take them up, pounding down and go. Rocketing on that second set of ramp elevations now as they go flying once again into the top of the turn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's the way they get started. That's the way they get warmed up. We're going to be bringing them back now, but this is your part of the show. If you want to see them pull it on, if you want to see them go all the way, it's your enthusiasm up here that's going to make them go wild down here. So what do you say to our superstars and supercars? Tim Chetwood, Tony Peterson, perfectly parked, and they can hear you now. Tim Chetwood, Tony Peterson, over 75 years of combined experience behind the wheels of thrill show automobiles, superstars, and supercars with America's number one automobile thrill show. Oh, Sparky, get out of the race. Sparky. Sparky. Sparky, get off the speedway here tonight. Tim Chetwood said, get out of here, you baffling buffoon. Well, folks, we've got a hot one for you tonight. Oh, yes, we do. We're going to be calling upon a young gentleman tonight by the name of Chris Moreno. And Chris comes to us from Brooklyn, New York. And Chris is going to be attempting the very dangerous, the very suicidal slang for life out here tonight. He'll be chauffeured to the top of the racetrack by none other than Royal Bill Dominic from Carrollton, Ohio. And when Royal Bill returns under full speed and power, young Chris Moreno will literally leap from the rear bumper of that speedy automobile to sit down on the asphalt to go sliding all the way to the top of the turn out here tonight. Uh, Sparky, what are you wrapping Chris on the helmet for? Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Get off the racetrack. Get off the car. Get out of here. Give him a friendly pat on the helmet and send him on his way. You got the wrong end, you idiot. Well, anyway, you better be long gone, my friend, as Wild Bill goes to the top of the racetrack to measure the distance he'll need. Young Chris Moran, adorning only a slide panel leather jacket and a pair of gloves, mounted on the back bumper of that Toyota Solara automobile with that 4-cam, 24-valve V6 engine cranking out 200 horsepower out here tonight. He makes the swing around, it's hammered out. With every revolution of the wheel, the speed increases out of the top of the turn. 20, 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. Chris, it's time you're going to get down, down, down and down. Chris Morano! Chris Morano and the Slug for Life out here tonight. Yes, sir, racer, my friend. We've got automobiles moving in all directions out here this evening with the Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show team. Once again, great job, Chris. All right, now, folks, we're going to be going about our motorcycle rider out here tonight, Matt Grant from Hollywood, California. And Matt's going to be exemplifying his talents out here tonight as he's going to be attempting a stunt here this evening. It's the flaming, fiery motorcycle boardwalk crash. As you can see, uh, Tim's out through, and uh, they're setting this uh, ramp elevation out here tonight. We've got a timbered structure. We're going to be saturating it with gallons of gasoline. And we'll be then set up lanes tonight, and Matt Graham will go to the top of the racetrack to measure the distance he'll need. And when he returns, he's going to be heading head first and headlong towards this blazing inferno of fire out here this evening. Matt wants to uh, tell all the young children in the grandstand and adults alike, whenever riding off-road vehicles such as motorcycles or quad runners, always wear a safety helmet. A friendly message from the Toyota Hollywood Sun Show team out here tonight. It looks like Matt's all set and ready. Don't need the leather jacket, the gloves, the helmet, and the YZ250. Let's set him off for the nice round of applause from Hollywood, California, Matt Grant. Jeff Watson from Sarasota, Florida, standing by with that torch to the readiness and around that one signal of flame and fire. All of a sudden, Matt Graham under power out here tonight. Matt makes the turn. The signal is given and flames leap high. But very now for the flaming, fiery motorcycle board wall crash. Fill and down in flames and debris flying in all directions out here tonight. Nonetheless, was for where? What do you say to our young Dunnable extraordinaire from Hollywood, California? Give it up for Matt Grant right there. Matt Grant in a flaming, fiery motorcycle.
motorcycle boardwalk crash. Once again, a celebration of another great anniversary year of Hollywood, USA. Speaking of Hollywood and motion pictures, right now, take your mind's eye back to last year to the millennium year to one of the blockbuster motion pictures of that era entitled Gladiator. And in that, you can remember Roman racers and chariots racing through the streets. But we'd like to give you our own twist on that motion picture tonight, as we'd like to call it Roman Racing 2001 style. It's the modern version of the old Roman steeplechase, only instead of using horses and chariots, we're going to be using stock production 2001 Toyota Solara automobiles on the speedway tonight. Our Roman racers first aboard the number four automobile. What do you say to Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri? And the number five automobile from Brooklyn, New York, Chris Morana. As we set them off to the top of the racetrack, I adopt those fast-moving automobiles out here tonight. But you must remember that one miscalculation, one wrong turn of the wheel, could send these gentlemen hurtling to that firm track surface below. So they must put all their trust and faith in the gentlemen behind the wheels of these automobiles. Well, Bill Dominic and Tony Peterson, with over 55 years collectively of thrill show driving experience out here tonight. They make the turn. Chris Moran on the lead automobile. Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri, and number two. Locked together, heading a little top of that turn number four. Hang on, gentlemen, now, as they lock her up over Dowling Gulf. The New England Revelation, number two now, and they lean into the top of that bank, turn number one. And you can see those Toyota Indy Kart racing uniforms literally blowing in the breeze here tonight. And what a third come. Delicate. Watch now as they return now, placing automobiles in that high to low position. But his automobiles zigzag, crossing positions. A woman racers must change weight and balance simultaneously here tonight. Watch now as they attempt a little criss crossing. Zigzagging. Fractions of an inch from near collision as they take them to the top of the turn once again out here tonight. Now I'm telling you it takes lots of intestinal fortitude or good old-fashioned guts on behalf of the Devils high atop the automobiles out here this evening. Training and skill as they bring them out of the top of the turn once again. Now they're going to be placing them side by side. Fender to fender, wheel to wheel. As they come out of the top of the turn, our young Roman racers here tonight hang on as they take them out of the short shoot area. Tighten them up on the rep elevations. Down and go. Thundering on rep elevations. Turn out a couple of us losing his balance at the top of the turn. But he maintains the balance as they grind them down at the top of turn number two. Well, after that grueling ordeal, a man and machine are going to be bringing them back. They're going to spin them around. They're going to park them on a dime as our Roman racers literally leap from the rooftops of these automobiles to the firmness of the racetrack below. So as they whisk the helmets from their head, let's have a nice Waterford speedball. Welcome back for Chris Morano, Jason Mackey, and they can hear you now. Jason Mackey, Chris Morano, Roman Racers, once again with the 2001 edition of the Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show. Well, right now they're going to be making a quick change of automotive equipment. Tony Peterson from Copenhagen, Denmark, moves into the Toyota Camry, California police cruiser. Tim Chitwood from Tampa, Florida, in the number four automobile. While Bill Dunlap retains the use of the number five. Because every bit of success on the Dunlap means that they must become a bit more demanding. And in keeping with this tradition, we're going to be sending not one, not two, but three automobiles to the top of the speedway here tonight. As these gentlemen are about to give you their interpretation of the title of this exhibition, which is Hell Driving, is produced by Toyota's Hollywood Sun Show team. Not one, not two, but three automobiles with screaming sirens and blazing lights. It's a thundering locomotive. One, two, three, and away. Thundering on rap elevation number two now. As they go three wide into the top of the turn. I'm telling you, it's some masterful manipulation of motor vehicles. A traffic jam on the roll with the Toyota Hollywood stunt show. While Bill Dominic leading the pack, Tim Chitwood in Tampa, Florida, in the number two position, and Tony Peters in that control position gets the signal goal. Driving it with one hand at all times. They're winding, winding, and weaving, winding and weaving like a giant snake. It's an automotive with Anaconda. All three automobiles locked together, racing into the top of the turn out here tonight. It's masterful manipulation of motor vehicles, a traffic jam on the roll with the Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show. Watch now as they place them together in back position. Tim Chitwood, Wild Bill Dominic go side by side. Tony Peterson to move to the back side of Tim Chitwood off ramp elevation number one. Move across the low side to lock up with 
Bill Dominic on rapid ovation number two. So close to go, you can throw a blanket over the gentleman here tonight. Tony takes it low on the second crossover. Watch the high side, Tim Chilwood, as they take him down into the top of the turn once again as they look for driving room. Well, you saw that dangerous two-car crossover. Now it's that doubly difficult three-car cross. They're going to take two automobiles to the high side, one automobile to the low side. As they attempt to cross automobiles before, they're going to have to wrap relations. It must be totally calibrated, highly calculated. Look out now. With no room for error, we've got it again. And they take them once again in the top of that turn number four out here tonight. Well. You've seen the crossovers on the flat surface of the racetrack this time. It's crossovers again, but while negotiating ramp structures, while driving on but two wheels, while holding and maintaining that most precarious position, they're going to be attempting the crossovers one more time, this time on but two wheels. They must think, act, and respond as one unit. Watch carefully now. Bill the takes it up. Timmy takes the low side. Oh, oh. Man, are they close tonight. And they take him to the top of the turn once again out here this evening. Well, after that grueling ordeal of man and machine, we're going to be bringing them back. We're going to park them one, two, three on the wall. They're going to unlock the doors, unhook their safety belt, and step out onto the firmness of the racetrack here tonight. This show has over 147 years of combined experience behind the wheels of Phil Show Automobiles. So, one of her speedball, let's put our hands together now. Welcome on superstars and supercars, Phil Dominic, Tim Chitwood, Tony Peterson, and they can't hear you now. Tony Peterson, Tim Chetwood, Royal Bill Dominic, and a Toyota factory precision driving team with the Hollywood Sun Show 2001 rolling down the highway tour out here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, rocketing right along with tonight's performance. If you look to your left, you will notice that we have raised ramp elevations two blocks high. As we're going to be going up on our dynamic duo of Royal Bill Dominic and Tony Peterson with over 55 years of combined experience behind the wheels of real show automobiles. For low ski, wait a minute, what's going on? Flag them down, stop the whole show, look out! <laughs> You baffling idiot. Buffoon boy, you almost caused a catastrophe on the racetrack tonight. What do you mean they're not supposed to be there? Quit hitting that automobile with the broom. What in the world are you doing out there anyway? They're driving too fast. Well, you know what, my friend? I've got a little job for you tonight. First, we need Matt Grant to get out there and take that uh, beautiful Polaris Trailblazer off the uh, racetrack. Of course, the Polaris Trailblazer from Polaris in the streets in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, now I know they've been driving too fast out there tonight, and they've been nicking the fenders and chipping the paint in those brand new, beautiful Toyota automobiles. So just stand there for a second. Hey, guys, go to the top of the racetrack. Take the cars up there. That's right. And uh, I got a little job out here for, for Sparky. Yeah, I, I know, they're driving a little too fast. Well, you know what? We're going to stop that. We're going to stop this fender bending out here tonight. You know that, Sparky? And here's what I want you to do. I want you to walk to that ramp elevation. Right. When you get to the ramp elevation, I want you to stand directly in the center of it. Right. Tonight, your job is quite simple, Sparky. When you see the cars get too close together, all you have to do is push them apart. Look out, they're coming at you now. Get the broom out of the way, you idiot. As they go flying on ramp elevation one and two. They're going on ramp elevation number two now. What happened, Sparky? Tony ran over your big toe. Well, don't worry about a thing. We've got a big tow truck in the infield. Well, that's not funny. What are you going to do now? You're going to line them up. The cars are a little crooked. The drivers are a little crooked. They're not going to stamp it out as they come out of the top of the turn. Well, Bill Dominic and Tony Peterson crossing automobiles. Well, Chad Seconds and a crossover now as they go flying to the top of the racetrack out here tonight. Did you get the ramp sweeped off? Yeah, I guess so. Where do you think you're going now? You're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> you can't come up here. It costs money to sit in the seats. You're broke. How can you possibly be broke? I pay you weekly. Very weakly. You know, folks, Sparky doesn't have enough money to pay attention. Never mind. Why don't you get up here in the tower and watch it from a safe place? You'll watch it from the park bench. We don't have a park bench. 
That's not the park bench. They're coming out of the turn. No, they're not coming from that direction. Turn around, you fool. Get out of the way. Look out as they comply. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Down and go once again as they go winding to the top of the turn. Yeah, I know. They're getting a little crazy. You better be long gone, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's be prepared to welcome back our old ski artist of 2001, our gasoline gladiators of the 21st century. What do you say to our dynamic duo, a couple superstars of our show, Royal Bill Dominic, Tony Peterson, and Sparky Lacow! Get off the hood of the car! Oh, Sparky, my friend, you look a little cranked up out there tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, Sparky, while you were out there, we took a vote out here, and everybody at Waterford Speedbowl has deemed that you are definitely the weakest link. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Well, folks, we told you some of the newer stunts with the Toyota Hollywood Stunts Fall for our 2001 tour. Now we're going to be taking you back to the early days, the early years, the days of Ward Bean, the days of Lucky Teeter, the days of the famous Jack Hotchman World Champion Hell Drivers and the Joey Chip with Thrill Show. As we're going to be reconstructing for you one of the legendary stunts of all time, known as the Human Battering Ram. Now, Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri, is taking this old automobile from Palanti Auto Mall, stripped all the glass and debris from the car and is only chained to the frame. We have a tempered structure on the racetrack saturated with gallons of gasoline. And when Jason Mackey returns, he's going to be heading headlong and headfirst towards this blazing inferno with our young gentleman on the hood of the automobile. On the hood, our human battering ram, donning only a leather jacket, a helmet, and a pair of gloves. Let's set him up for the nice round of applause from Brooklyn, New York, Chris Morana! Chris Morana from Brooklyn, New York. As Jason Mackey goes to the top of the racetrack to measure the distance he'll need, he'll spin the automobile around and place it hammer down. As he makes the swing, the signal is given, and flames lolly pie. Preparing now for that legendary stunt of all time. It's a hot one, the human mattering ramp. Throwing down in flames and debris flying in all directions out here tonight. As it looks like our good devil is safely through on that one. As they make the turn at the top of the racetrack, nonetheless, what's for wear? What do you say to our young Daredevil extraordinaire from Brooklyn, New York. Give it up for Chris Morano. Chris Morano and the Human Battering Ram once again in celebration of another great anniversary year of Hollywood, USA and our Rolling Down the Highway 2001 tour. Well, as flames and debris are burning on the speedway here tonight at the Waterford Speedball, right now, we, what, 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 what do you mean, stop the show? I got to go. You've got to go. Oh, I know you want to go to the concession stands. Man, they got lots of good food down there, hot dogs, pizza. After the show. Oh, after the show. Oh, I know, Sparky, I'm sorry. I know you've been working a sweat up out there. You want to go get a nice cold drink of ice water. That's what got you into what mess? Now, how would I know? Do I look like a mind reader to you? You watch your mouth. Hey, kids, what's he trying to tell me? Oh, he's got to go to the bathroom. Well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Now you thought anybody could have figured that out. Well, Spark, do you know Terry Eames? Yeah, yep, you and Terry are good friends, man. You dress alike, you look alike, you buy your clothes in the same haberdasheries and say you hang out together all the time in the Waterford area. But anyway, Terry and the guys and gals here at the Waterford Speedboat making things bigger and better than ever. They built that brand new rest facility right out there by the start-finish line for all the racers here. And that's right, so you better not make sure nobody's in there. It's empty like your head. Okay, well, go in there and do what you have to do, but hurry up because we got lots of racing here tonight and thrill show and uh, lots of activities here at Waterford Speed Bowl. Wait a minute. Do I see garments flying from the laboratory tonight? I think I do. Something awry is going... Sparky, what are you doing in there? You're reading the walls. That is the most disgusting, perverse thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I want nothing to do with it. What do they say? Chris Morano. What do you mean, hey, hey, hey? What, that's a lie? It's not true? No. Folks, do you believe Sparky or the little Italian boy from New York? 
<laughs> you lost that one, Chris. <laughs> well, anyway, Christopher, you look a little upset out there tonight, and uh, do you have any idea what you want to do to get even with them? You have an idea what, pray tell, could that possibly be? A can of Pepsi. TNT? Chris, what are you going to do with the TNT? You're going to light the fuse. Throw it in the you-know-what. Bye-bye, idiot. Wait a minute, you don't want to see Chris blow poor Sparky up in the outhouse, do you? I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> you people are sick out there. Wait a minute, look how Sparky pull your pants up. Oh, man, spit the toilet paper out of your mouth. It's in your ears. You got poo-poo paper all over the racetrack. Pull your pants up. You're exposed out there. You're coming apart at the seams. We've done a lot of joking. We've done a lot of kidding around. But I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you North America's number one Daredevil stunt club and the public relations director for the Hollywood Stunt Show team from Morris, New York. Give it up for Mr. Andrew Guerriero. Andrew Guerriero is Sparky the Daredevil Clown. Man, he's having an awful time here tonight at Waterford Speedball. Well, if you look to the left and you look to the right, you'll notice that we have raised ramp elevations higher, higher than ever attempted here tonight. Because every bit of success on the part of the Daredevils means that they must become a bit more daring. And keeping with that tradition, we're going to be calling upon the stars of our show, Tony Peterson and Tim Chitwood, with over 75 years of combined experience behind the wheels of thrill show automobiles. As Tim and Tony are going to be attempting to recreate a stunt first used in the James Bond thriller, Diamonds Are Forever. Tonight... Mr. Peterson and Mr. Chipwood are going to be attempting to take you on a journey beyond your wildest imagination. They're going to be attempting to take you on a journey beyond the laws of gravitation. As they're going to be attempting a stunt known as high skis, aerial wingovers, or in plain layman's terms, the ability to drive and balance a vehicle upon but two wheels. Now, Tim Chipwood's in that 2001 Toyota Tundra SR5 extra cam pickup. Tony Peterson in the American-made Toyota Camry, the number one selling automobile in the United States for the four past consecutive years. Now, these vehicles are stock, except for the fact we have locked the rear end differential up, or literally welded the spider gears together in Tim's pickup, and locked the front end differential up in Tony's automobile, so that the car and truck have constant drive at all times. The tires are stock Bridgestone Firestone tires. They call for 35 pounds of air pressure. We've inflated these tires with 90 pounds of air to support the entire weight of the vehicles, but yet keep the tires from rolling off the Toyota alloy wheels. So, Mr. Peterson, Mr. Chipwood, if you're set and ready, let's go to the top of the racetrack here tonight and attempt high skis. Now, you must remember that one miscalculation could send these $25,000 vehicles rolling onto the rooftops out here tonight. So, they're putting all their training and skill on the line, literally trying to balance these vehicles on the pinnacle point of balance. Here comes Tim Chitwood with an uncanny ability of driving and balancing a vehicle on two wheels. Beautifully balanced, Tim. Sparky, don't touch it. Sparky, don't touch the truck. Sparky, no, Sparky, no. Tim Chitwood was on the pinnacle point of balance. He was not on the pinnacle point of disaster. Get out of the way, you buffoon. What, we got a problem out there, Billy? You lost a quarter? Oh, wait a minute. Ten minutes ago, you told me you were broke. What are you doing out there, anyway? Hey, don't push him around. He's one of the performers in our show. Oh, wait a minute. Tony, Tony, put the automobile down. Uh, Tony, Tony, Sparky, Sparky! <laughs> You're ruining the whole show. I mean, that was awful. Wait a minute, hold everything right here. That's not the way you taught Tony Peterson to drive. You on a driver's meeting to the pits. It's gonna be the pits for you, my friend. And you must remember that Mr. Peterson is from Copenhagen, Denmark, and he hasn't mastered the English language as yet, so you must speak to him in his native tongue. Apple strudel, whatever. Well, anyways, they go to the pit area. Here comes Tim Chitwood. He's got those 737 strobes moving. Tim Chitwood, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, son of Thrill Show Impresario, Joey Chitwood Sr. And the number 17 was commemorative, the number on his dad's Indy race car. The last year he raced the 500 in 1950. Like a proverbial bird on the wing, Tim Chitwood takes it up and go beautifully balanced out here tonight with that uncanny ability of driving and balancing a vehicle on two. Wait a minute. Tony's got the idiot on the automobile. 
Automobile, Dynamic, Sensational, Super Spectacular. They found the groove and they're on the move tonight. As you can see the silhouette of Tony Peterson and American May Camry with Sparky trapped on the side. As Tim Chitwood goes down the back straightaway here, they're heading for a head-on collision course. Will Tim see Tony? Will Tony see Tim? They're getting closer and closer and they pass on the back straightaway. As Tony Peterson is driving an American main Camry and speeds in excess of 40 miles an hour while driving on but two wheels. Tim Chitwood holds the world's record for driving a rear-wheel drive vehicle on two wheels, 5.8 miles. Tony Peterson is the only stuntman in North America who has mastered the art of driving a front-wheel drive vehicle on two wheels. So Waterford Speedball, let's put our hands together now and bring them back down in front of the grandstand here tonight as they attempt to set them down shiny side up and rubber side down. Nose to nose, Tony Peterson, Tim Chitwood. Tim Chetwood, Tony Peterson, and Sparky the Daredevil Cloud. And you can put a piece of Kleenex between the front bumpers of those vehicles out here tonight. Hey, I've got a question. Is everybody enjoying our show so far tonight? Hey, that's fantastic. You're such a great fun to hear at Waterford Speedway. We've just begun, folks. We're just getting underway here tonight, man. What a great night here of racing and thrill shows at Waterford Speedball. Well, right now, folks, uh, we're going to be moving right along with our show out here tonight as uh, on the racetrack, Tim Chitwood's out there tonight in that beautiful number nine automobile out here. That's the 2001 Toyota Solera automobile with that Ford Camp 24 valve V6 engine cranking out 200 horsepower out here this evening. Well, Tim's not going to be attacked to drive the Solera at 130 miles an hour. No, folks, he's not going to be doing that. He's going to be attempting a stunt tonight which strikes terror in the hearts of professional stuntmen. It's known as a deliberate reverse spin. So dangerous that five professional stuntmen have met their early demise by attempting what Tim Chipwood will be attempting for you here this evening. Now, if you listen to me very carefully, I would like to take this opportunity to explain to you what Tim will be attempting here this evening. Tim will be taking this automobile to the top of the racetrack and placing it in reverse. And then, under full speed and power, take it to a point directly in front of the seats of one of the things, but second to spin the wheel, shift the gears, kind of guys that we're taking off the opposite direction with no also forward speed and momentum. But you're doing it faster than I said it. So join with me now as we send up the work, Tim Chipwood. Let me explain a little bit story what he will be attempting. He'll take the automobile to the top of the racetrack, place it in reverse, and then, under full speed and power, take it to a point directly in front of the seats within one. In the same split second, he'll spin the wheel, shift the gears, gun it, gas it, whip it, take it off in the opposite direction with no loss of forward speed of him. On the top of turn number four, 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. Selecting a point, boy one, 180 degrees sweeping, arcing, winding turn, beautifully executed by Tim Chipwood. Oh, yes, folks. What a way to get out of the Walmart parking lot. Works every time. <laughs> Watch now as those halogen lights go whisking past your seats tonight. Here he comes. Folks, it's hard to drive it forward at this speed. Here he comes flying out of the top of that turn number one. He's selecting a point. He's shifting on the fly. <laughs> Goodbye, Tim Chetwood, as he goes to the top of the turn out here tonight. Well, he's going to be bringing it back in front of the grandstand here this evening, parking it on the dime. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, watch carefully now as he brings it out of the top of the turn. Faster and harder, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. He's going to bring it down, park it on a dime, and salute you all. And where one good turn deserves another, what do you say to Tim Chipwood? Tim Chetwood in a high-speed reverse spin. Once again, in celebration of another great anniversary year of Hollywood, USA, right here at our 2001 tour out here tonight. Man, oh man, folks. Well, as we take a $27,000 automobile off the racetrack, we're bringing a $27 automobile on the racetrack. <laughs> That's for the ladies all of all, ladies and gentlemen, providing all the older automobiles for the smashing, crashing purposes of tonight's big, big show. Well, right now, we've got Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri, this old automobile. We told you we stripped all the glass and debris from this car. He's literally chained to the frame. You see the aluminum ramp on the inside of the dirt area? Um, they we're going to be attempting a stunt here tonight. Notice the deliberate Hollywood crash roll. Now, normally, this ramp is hidden from the camera's eye by piles of dirt 
road graders, or other automobiles. Well, here tonight, we have removed the facade so that you can see exactly the way this stunt is done for television out here tonight. So, Jason, are you set and ready? Here's a ton of for the nice round of applause, Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri. Well, Jason, we're going to the top of the racetrack, merge to the distance you'll need. He swings the automobile around and it's hammered out. With every revolution of the wheel, the speed increases. Faster and faster, harder and harder. Closer for a smashing, crashing, crash, and no of nerves and steel. We've got one. And a double up there tonight. And we're going to wait. Is Jason okay? Do we have a high sign? Chris says he is okay. He's unbuckling himself as he literally walks out of the windshield of the automobile. Let's have a nice round of applause for Jason Mackey. Jason Mackey from Marshall, Missouri, smashing, crashing, demolishing, and destroying that old automobile and a mangled mass of murderous metal, a clinking, clanking collection of calidity junk on the racetrack out here tonight. Another nice round of applause for Jason Mackey, ladies and gentlemen, for a job well done out here tonight at the Waterford Speed Bowl. Oh, yes. But right now, folks, we're setting the second portion of our show, as we're going to be calling about a young gentleman by the name of Chris Moran. Chris is going to be attending the suicide of flying Hollywood dive bomber crash out here tonight. It's a literally self-destructed automobile in a simulated intersection crash. Then we're going to be setting for the fitting finale, the breathtaking conclusion of tonight's show. As we're going to be calling upon Major Chuck Fortson from Sarasota, Florida, as he's going to be shaking the earth and lighting up the night sky with the Hollywood Thunder jet truck fire and lightning show out here tonight. And I'll tell you, folks, that'll really warn me up as Hollywood Thunder, that 6,000 horsepower jet truck, comes racing across the start finish line here at the Waterford Speedball. But as they do that, it takes about three minutes, gives me an opportunity once again to thank the fine people that made tonight's big show possible. First of all, Toyota Motor Sales USA from Torrance, California, and your locally authorized Toyota dealer. Tonight you saw proof positive of the dependability and reliability built into each and every one of these quality American-made Toyota cars and tough, dependable Toyota trucks. Let's not forget the folks from Bridgestone Firestone, and they urge you to do three very important things. Inflate, rotate, and evaluate your tires. So very important. We check our tire pressure every day. We urge you to ask your tire pressure, pressure and check it at least once a month because the safest thing between you, your family, and the road is your tire pressure and your tires. And when you go on these highways and it gets 80, 90 degrees and you're running at 70 miles an hour, an underinflated tire could be disastrous. So we urge you to check that tire pressure and remember to inflate, rotate, and evaluate your tires. A friendly message from Bridgestone Firestone, USA. Also, that special green mingle on every automobile comes from Kiss Coat Aftermarket Products, Kiss Coat Auto Wash Window Cleaners, and Silicone Automotive Sealers. And if you look over there at the top of turn one, you see those big 40-foot beautiful fifth-wheel travel trailers. Those are from Alpha Leisure Corporation in Chino, California. Of course, the only fifth-wheel manufactured in America with eight-foot flat ceilings, a five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, and a 27,000 BTU heating and air conditioning system built in the basement of each trailer. Remember, Alpha gives you more. Also, don't forget to find folks from Napa Auto Parts. Napa, the parts store, serving America for over 75 years. And we'd like to urge you to support all the fine national sponsors that make our show possible here tonight at your Waterford Speedball. Also, plenty of thanks again to the Letty Automall for providing the older automobiles for the smashing, crashing purposes during the course of tonight's performance. Also, a reminder, crossing the racetrack now, there's old Sparky again. Well, folks, after our show, immediately following our show while they're getting ready and we're tearing down the racetrack, Sparky will have the full line of quality Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show souvenirs available for you here tonight. Now, we need a couple more minutes, so I'm going to take about 30 seconds here to tell you what we have available after our show. We have our Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show Deluxe Cap Line. These are 100% combed, cut, enhanced. They're fully washable. On the front, it's not a cheap airbrush design, but a three-colored embroidered Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show logo, just like you see on the side of our Motorsports Transporter located on the infield area. These are not available at your Toyota dealer, only available here tonight during the show. They come in several styles and color combinations, the straight front or also the slanted front as well. These caps are available for $12. We also have the Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show video, and it's done in digital color and sound. It was uh, shot by Motor Week Television. Craig Singhaus is hitting the high road. They did a special on the Hollywood Stunt Show, and that aired throughout past season during the winter. And that uh, six-minute clip of that 
portions of that entire Motor Week television video that's available for $10. We also have our deluxe 8x10 color glossy digital color print picture kit that's also available for $10. And if you're a thrill show, memorabilia, collectible type person, we have our Toyota Hollywood Stunt Show commemorative keychains. They're four inches long, they're about three inches wide, they're made out of quality lucite, and inside is a digital color photo. These commemorative keychains are available for five. So the commemorative collectible keychains are five, the picture set and the Motor Week video are 10, and our deluxe cap line is 12. Now Sparky will have that souvenir table set up right in front of the announcing tower here. So immediately following our show, you can come up to there. And then after that, the Tim Chitwood, Tony Peterson, and the entire crew will be in the pit area. And if you do purchase any of those souvenirs and you want to come out after the show, after we clean the racetrack off, they'll be more than happy to autograph for them for you at that time. Well, it looks like we're getting set and ready now. Open up the second portion of our show out there this evening. And uh, is uh, Chris Moran, is he all set and ready in that automobile? Chris, if you are, let's set him up for the nice round of applause. Chris Morella, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to be in the end of the suicidal flying Hollywood dive bomber crash out here tonight. And we've got our Toyota Camry police cruiser setting the pace since this older automobile does not have a calibrated speed speedometer. Everything else will be exact. The height of the takeoff, the elevation, the distance from the takeoff to the catch automobile. It must be totally calibrated, highly calculated, with absolutely no room for error here tonight. His hands begin to sweat, his heart begins to throb, and now, with every turn of that powerful engine bringing him closer and closer to that ragged edge of uncertainty here tonight, with Lady Luck on one side, the Grim Reaper on the other, we're prepared now for an avalanche of automotive fury, a cushion of a flashing steel. He's up! Down in a spectacular crash tonight, right in the windshield, the way it was supposed to be done. Is he all right? Do we have a high sight? Is he okay? Look, he's walking out of the automobile. What do you say to Chris Morana? Chris Morana from Brooklyn, New York, in the suicidal flying Hollywood dive bomber crash out here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're getting set and ready now for the fitting finale, the breathtaking conclusion of tonight's big, big show. As we're going to be calling upon Major Chuck Fulton, number 25 here, behind the wheels of Porsche automobiles and jet truck expertise. As we're going to be shaking the earth and lighting up the night sky with the Hollywood Thunder Fire and Lightning Show here this evening. Hollywood Thunder, the world's fastest street legal jet, clocked at Brooksville Airport in Brooksville, Florida at 181.9 miles per hour. It weighs 7,000 pounds. It's powered by a J-26 Westinghouse jet engine of an F-7U Cutlass Navy jet fighter. It will consume over 80 gallons of aircraft fuel during this two and a half minute fire and lightning show. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, be prepared to be amazed for Hollywood the world's fastest street legal jet. The turbulence inside the cab of Hollywood Thunder are over 90 miles per hour. Over 300 cubic feet of air pass through the two front windows of the Hollywood Thunder jet truck. Our pilot, as you can see the silhouette of Chuck Fortson behind those gigantic flames of Hollywood Thunder out here tonight. The heat generated by Hollywood Thunder is over 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, we're utilizing 3,000 of the available 6,000 horsepower out here tonight. Now as Chuck Fortson backs Hollywood Thunder up, you can warm your hands on this one, folks. Over 1,300 degrees of heat for the Hollywood Thunder jet truck here tonight. Burners of 
of this J46 Westinghouse jet engine out here tonight. And as we do this, we urge you to cover your children's ears. Cover your children's ears. Cover your children's ears. stand here tonight and I know that you're going to want to join now welcome me back our veteran pilot of over 25 years from Sarasota Florida let's put our hands together now for Major Chuck Fortson Chuck Fortson in the Hollywood Thunder Jet Truck on behalf of our stunt coordinators the incomparable Mr. Tony Peterson the sensational Tim Chitwood and America's number one thrill show team we salute you now Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You've been a wonderful...